minus. Let's talk about the Detroit Lions here for a little bit. So there's all kinds of good mojo with the Detroit Lions now. Dan Campbell coming into his second year as a head coach. There's a lot of good feelings as the team continues to grow and evolve past kind of their dark days of a couple of years ago. But in these good feelings, there's there's more than just good vibes. There's a lot of really good news in terms of the culture and the environment, too. And I know you've got some specifics there. But before we get into that, Detroit Lions fans, like I just said, there's a lot of good mojo with the team right now, which means you're definitely going to some games. And we want to hear about what games you want to go to this season. Comment in the section, uh, comment below in the comment section what games you're planning on attending this season. Uh, but, Myers, what do you have uh, out of Detroit? Yes, Nick. Uh, Detroit has a lot of up-and-coming players. It's a very young team, a very... Uh, interesting team with a lot of playmakers who are probably in the the ranks to have a breakout year a guy who kind of had a breakout year last season as far as the play side of things are uh concerned was Amani Oruwarie I have been practicing that for a while now so Amani Oruwarie um he came last year and set a career high six interceptions pretty big numbers there uh he 11 passes defended two tackles for a loss and a fumble recovery so on this stat sheet he really stuck out last year uh he made a lot of big plays and it was a very bright spot in this line secondary who's kind of locked up his role as a starter there but on the opposite side of things there's two sides to being a you know superstar player there's the play on the field but there's also all the off the field kind of things, all of the locker room person being, you know, a leader side of things. And that's where this off season, Oruwarie has really stepped up as a leader in this Lions organization. Uh, and Dan Campbell said from this time last year, he really feels like a true vet now. He's a guy who understands what he's capable of. He understands what he's good at and what he can do and what he needs to work on. He's a pro right now. He's practicing like a pro. He has a really high comfort level, and he's very confident, and it's all great to see. So that's high praise from Dan Campbell uh, about Oruwarie and what he can bring to the table as a leader now that his play style has been at the level it is needed to be. What do you think, Meg? So I kind of take a higher view approach of this whole situation and give a lot of credit to Dan Campbell and what he's done with the Detroit Lions football team and really the organization and how much he's galvanized that culture and kind of turn it around. We, we've talked about it a long time. Being the head coach is more than just X's and O's and even just, you know, recruiting players, developing players and all that, drafting players, managing managing the team, the roster from that perspective and, and trying to help them, them grow on the football field. It's managing the men and managing the culture around the football team and creating a strong environment and looking at what's going on with the Lions. I'm, I'm reminded of a quote. This is from William Arthur Ward. He was a 20th century writer, uh, lived a lot in the space. He said, the mediocre teacher tells the good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, and the great teacher inspires. So last season, Dan Campbell was demonstrating. He was showing, hey, this is how we're going to show up. This is going to be our attitude. You know, we're going to bite kneecaps. We're not going to care. We're going to be a tough physical football team. You know, we're going to fight for every down and just demonstrating that mentality that never give up how much he cared, you know, him being emotional at the podium. And now we're seeing this season going into 2022, he has inspired people on this roster he's inspired inspired the players to take on additional leadership roles and i think that's so indicative of a strong culture and that goes back to dan campbell and what he's instilled in that locker room and i think it's going to be a powerful force for the detroit lions because while the lions have upgraded the roster tremendously they're a much better football team on paper this year than they were last year for numerous reasons that we've gone over a bunch they also have a little bit easier schedule so while things are aligning for them on the football field, the fact that off the field and in the locker room, a lot of the things you mentioned are also pushing that direction is a strong indicator because that's really the difference between, you know, good teams and bad teams because even bad teams can have a lot of talent. But, the, you know, the Cleveland Browns are a great example of that, right? But terrible culture, terrible issues, and, and they just seem to always disappoint. But good teams with good culture, they always find a way to persevere even when, you know, ish hits the fan and things don't go their way. So this is all just a really good sign for the Detroit Lions in 2022. All right, Nick, it's time to get your internet privacy back today on every device you own in any country you want. Don't let anyone but you control your internet. NordVPN keeps you safe from prying eyes wherever you go online with their military-grade encryption. Is your favorite Netflix or streaming content blocked in the U.S.? You can simply connect to one of the many countries available with NordVPN and get the access you need. 
That's right, Maya. So right now, get our exclusive NordVPN deal here at nordvpn.com slash SMI. It's risk-free, risk-free now with Nord's, NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. Again, get that exclusive deal, nordvpn.com slash SMI.